Hi there, in this video I'm gonna talk about how to start YouTube channel free. Hey guys, welcome back, stay motivated, make another video today. Obviously the YouTube channel itself is free. What I'm talking about, how to open YouTube channel for free, meaning without spending extra money for equipment. So our YouTube journey, meaning me and my son, started approximately two years ago, a little bit more probably than that. And um, we didn't spend any money for uh, initially for equipment. We actually used what we had that time, which is his, his channel was gaming channel. And we used what we already had. And I'm going to talk about what equipment you actually need, the basics, even whether it's for vlogging, gaming. I'm going to also make a couple of suggestions for gaming channel on the end of this video. But generally, what do you actually need? So when we started the channel, my son had iPad Air 2. He would be recording the gameplay on iPad Air 2. We didn't even have tripods or none of this stuff. And we used to record gameplays this way. Uh, then we used something for face cam, which was obviously iPhone 7 and it was all okay. So basically, whether you're vlogging, gaming, any kind of tutorials, any, actually any kind of videos, you can really start for free because all of us have some kind of mobile device and basically we can start to do videos this way. Remember, it's not your equipment was, was important. What's important is how you share your story or if you provide information to people, if you do tutorial videos or even if you're entertaining someone, obviously if you would be higher quality, it's always better. But to start, today the phone's recording 1080p, full HD, you have nothing to worry about. If anything, you can always try to improve the sound later. But even that, you can actually put the phone relatively close to you. So start from any smartphone you have, you can additionally put the phone on the bookshelf and basically, or, or between books, stack it up and that's, that could be like a temporary tripod. You don't actually need any tripod and that's gonna do the job basically. Additionally, with the sound, you can record it basic from mobile. Obviously, the sound is not gonna be the best, but you can start this way. Maybe later on, you can buy some inexpensive microphone. You're gonna spend maybe 20 or 30 dollars for the microphone and that's gonna improve your sound a lot. And that's all you really need, actually. I would actually advise you not to spend any money in beginning of your YouTube channel. Very simple reason, because you don't know where your channel is gonna go. And after you do the channel for one or two months, especially you make a bunch of videos, which I'm gonna talk about in a second, then you're gonna kind of know the direction of your channel. But in beginning, you might think you like some idea, you start to go with it, but then you're gonna realize this is not for you and you wanna switch. So if you're gonna invest the money to the wrong equipment, so if you're gonna spend the money for the wrong equipment, you know what's gonna happen next. You're gonna work two, one or two months with YouTube, you're gonna make videos and you're gonna realize this is not for you. And the moment you wanna change it, you're gonna have to spend this money again. To make your start of your channel even better, make actually schedule from day one, figure out during the week how many videos you can possibly post and um, your schedule is gonna probably change later anyhow, but in beginning, just make some sort of schedule. If you think you can do two videos a week, write it on the calendar, like basically, or in some notes, I'm gonna make videos on Monday and Thursday or Friday and stick to the schedule. If you can do more, that's great, but at least have schedule and always post the videos on the same day. Additionally, the reason you can start your YouTube channel for free only with having devices you already have. is very simple. You can edit videos, make thumbnails and everything for free these days. So for example, with video editing, you can use like uh, iMovie on the iOS devices. You can use Kinemaster or some, some people call it Kinemaster. I used to call it that way too. Kinemaster for video editing, you have free version. And that's gonna, even though there is like a watermark on top, but you can do that. There is also another kind of editing softwares up there for the computer. F Heat Film Express, DaVinci Resolve, I think some version of it is free. And there is some others, so you don't need to spend money. Obviously, if you grow your channel later and you wanna, let's say, have better editing software, of course, you're gonna spend money and do it. But I'm talking just about the starting point. You really don't need to spend any money. 
Just basically, instead of spending money, invest time to produce better content. Don't focus on equipment and make videos that you're actually passionate about and you like to share your information or entertainment videos or anything like that, or maybe even motivate someone. And those kind of videos are gonna basically grow your channel, not the equipment. And I'm gonna give you some extreme example, right? Let's say there is this YouTuber called Ninja, right? Ninja, and then there is some kind of beginner YouTuber who has only maybe 100 or 200 subscribers, just like me, right? Now, you could strip this, this Ninja out of every single electronic in the house that he has. He would basically start from mobile gaming on the iPhone and he would still be able to succeed. The reason is because he learned how to succeed. So it has nothing to do with his equipment, for example. Obviously, right now he has the entire studio for gaming and this and that, right? But when he started, he didn't have that and he still achieved. So it has nothing to do with the equipment. Obviously, you're going to have stages and you're going to grow. And uh, your, your beginning equipment is going to be obviously only in the very beginning of your journey. And then slowly and gradually you will buy new equipment if you're going to see your channel is growing. There is no need to do this in the beginning. And the formula is, is this. If you can't grow your YouTube channel with, let's say, mobile device, right? And some, some cheap microphone, there is no way you're going to be able to grow your channel if you buy a camera, if you do the same content that you're doing with the smartphone. So first, improve your content, improve your thumbnails, titles, and everything that goes with it. And then basically you grow from there. Also, speaking about thumbnails, now you can, you know, have free apps. You can have Peak Monkey and other apps that are basically for thumbnails and they are absolutely free. You can make amazing thumbnails on them. So you don't have to spend even money for any kind of app to edit pictures either. The thing you should only determine is basically what kind of content you want to make and start making it on anything that you have in your hands right now. Mobile phone is your best friend. You can actually not only make videos, not only record videos, edit videos on the phone. You can actually make thumbnails on the phone and you can even adjust the settings and basically do every single thing in the phone. You can share your videos on social media. So your mobile phone is a powerhouse. And even if you don't have phone per se, or even if you have like some kind of iPad, same story basically, it's not much difference. So whether you have a Samsung phone or iPhone, any kind of mobile tablet, just start and trust me when I tell you three months from now, you might change the direction of your channel or even if you don't, your videos are going to improve even though you're doing it on the same exact setup that you started with. But your videos are already going to get better. You're going to have more experience and basically your videos are going to shine. Your video after 20 to 40 videos is not going to be the same that the first video you posted on the channel. And now let's just throw a couple of tips for gaming channels because, you know, as you know, my son's channel is the one, our main channel, which is gaming channel. You can do this for free also. Also start recording on your mobile device. Additionally, what you can do is you can basically record the gameplay, right? Record the screen with the sound and then go to basically edit on like Kinemaster like this. And then you can even record a voiceover if you don't need a face cam. If you need a face cam, you're going to figure a way to basically put it initially on it because mostly you cannot record the gameplay with the face cam on iOS devices. I'm not sure with Samsung, so you're going to have to figure how to do that. But only for the voiceover, this is really cool. You actually record voiceover only and you can act as if you would be actually playing the game live and recording it while you're talking. And guess what? Mobile games, even today, have traction as well. You don't have to have PC or basically any console. Some of our gaming videos like this one went to 15,000 views. And this game is actually 10 years old. It's not even a new game. It's not a console. It's on mobile device. See with this AR Dragon, same situation. It went to like 5 plus thousand views and we make a couple of these videos, but this one went to like 5,000 views plus, you see? Mobile device, nothing fancy about it. It didn't even actually look good. I mean, the game was nice, the dragon was cute, but the, the actual graphics was not that good. It was actually kind of covering the screen of the 
iPhone with some kind of filter. It wasn't even rendered properly. But yet the, the game got the video got a bunch of views. Even today that we have 10 times more subscribers, maybe actually 100 times more because that was in the beginning of our channel. And even though right now our average view for every game is 100 to 200 views on average, you see? Just make sure one thing, always record the sound of your voice a little bit louder than the gameplay. So it's not going to be like blend together and nobody's going to hear you. Whether increase the sound of your, of your own voice later when you basically record or decrease slightly the sound of the gameplay. Okay guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope this couple of tips helped you. And trust me, don't spend any money when you start your channel in day one. Figure out what you want to do and upgrade later. So thank you so much for watching. Stay motivated, make another video today. And also suggest another video so I can basically make another video for you from your suggestions. Bye guys.